Did Bitcoin hit the bottom? Hey, this is CEO Trades. Where money works for you. Today we're looking at a very important question. Yesterday we left you with that cliffhanger in our previous episode. Where is the bottom for Bitcoin? Did it reach the bottom in 2022, 2023? Now that we started 2023, that's the big question. Why? Because Bitcoin has gone up or in an upward momentum and people are wondering, did we leave the bottom? There are a few things that need to happen before the bottom actually hits. And I'd like to take a look at them as we get a moment here to share our screen and look at a specific article. And then we'll go into details on what is going on here. So give me one second as we share our screen here. Now, Bitcoin faces considerable danger from Fed in 2023. This article here was posted earlier today, and it basically tells you, Alden, BTC price bottom is a process. Optimism is increasing throughout crypto as BTC broadly retains levels, which are 40% higher than at the start of the year. That's very important. BTC prices are heavily tied to liquidity conditions, and liquidity conditions have been improving since quarter four in 2022. Now. This is what a, a daily chart looks like in Bitcoin. And you can see it It, it was pretty much at where it, it is right now at, at the 20,000 mark. It did this sort of U, uh, uh, in uh, cup right in here. And now we're at somewhere around that. Is it going to be going upward trending or is this it for Bitcoin? Considerable danger ahead. What could lie beyond that catch up? However, it could be less savory for bulls. BTC metrics exit capitalization. Five things to know in Bitcoin this week. Now, this article says a lot. And one of the things that I like about this article is that at the bottom, it tells you in the next three to five years, this is a good holding pattern for Bitcoin. Three to five years. Are you waiting? Are you okay with waiting that long? Now, I want to give you some of the things that I personally believe that this article doesn't tell you. One is digital assets. Are they related or not related to stocks? So you see, a lot of people will purchase Bitcoin because they believe it's not related to stocks. Well, guess again, if the S&P 500 goes up, Bitcoin goes up. If the S&P 500 goes down, it goes down. Just look at two charts. I'm not going to give you that detail here. We'll save that for another day. But they are directly correlated in 2022 when S&P 500 hit the bottom or, or its lowest. So did Bitcoin. And when it hit its highest in 2022, the same thing happened. The, the bottom happened when the FTX and Alameda incident happened back in October, November. That is a direct correlation to the S&P 500. Another thing is that the lockdowns in China, when are they going to ease? If that eases down, then we know that Bitcoin has reached rock bottom. Inflation peaks and Federal Reserve has stopped increasing the interest rates. That is nowhere near where it needs to be because the Feds know that as long as they keep pumping money into the system, it's going to keep rolling down, but eventually it's going to collapse. Prices at your local supermarkets or wherever you go to shop have increased immensely. Just look at eggs. Uh, I was at BJ's yesterday and I saw that the minimum price for eggs was $7 and change when eggs, you should be costing you around two to $3 for the jet for the most economical ones. And then the pricier ones are now around $12 to $15 for about a dozen eggs. That is un insane. Now, the next thing is the war tensions between Ukraine and Russia. But there are general tensions, geopolitical tensions that are happening around the world. When are these going to decline? That is when you know that Bitcoin has reached the bottom. The prices need to slow down. There are less people working. And one other thing is, big question is, when Bitcoin and the stock market have reached the bottom, everything stops for a few days. People don't want to invest. And that is a reality. You see, for Bitcoin to reach the bottom, 
these conditions most likely will have to happen. This is CEO Trades, where money works for you. Until the next one, we'll look at the charts in correlation to S&P 500 and BTC. Take care.